Sri Guru Bhion Namaha. Let us know about Chanakya Niti Sutra, the maxims of Chanakya. There are around 500 sutras which were preserved and given to us. These maxims are teachings of Chanakya, who lived 2400 years ago. The relevance of these maxims is very much applicable to the current society, modern society, and of course then 2400 years back. Niti means morals, ethics, and legality. Sutra means aphorisms, maxims, proverbs, adages, general sayings. And these sutras are presented in 10 10 slokas in a section. So let's begin. Let us dive into the sutras. In section 1, we have these maxims. The most important thing Sukasya Molam Dharmaha. Root of happiness, Sukham, is the righteousness, living with values. If you are on the right track, living righteously, then you will be happy. If you are not happy, you know the reason. Why so? You may not be on the righteous path. You may be doing something immoral, unethical or illegal thing. So live with values and be happy. Second Niti Sutra Dharmasya Moolam Ardha Ardha means money. In the first sloka we said Sukasya Moolam Dharmaha. In this Dharmasya Mula Mardaha. To be right, yes, or to live with values, we need money. That's the meaning of this sloka, this sutra. Root of righteousness is Ardha, wealth, prosperity. It's a general saying that when one is well off, he tries to protect the Dharma for himself and for the society around. We want wealth. So how do we get that? Ardhasya Molam Rajyam. So I am saying this Niti Sutras in the context of small family. So the big state or the small family, the ruling and the policies may remain same. Small family, head of the family and the family members, his subjects. And they themselves are a close Rajyam we can call. So you apply all these principles to yourself for the welfare of your family. If you are a ruler, apply it to your society, your city, your state. Then you will flourish. You will make the people to flourish. And collective happiness of everyone is the happiness of the state, entire state. Root of wealth is the kingdom, the power, the job, the success, right? If you have a job, that's the earning power. If you are successful with your skills, you can find a good job. That is the source of income for you. And this is required for the happiness. So that is how each sutra is linked, interweaved into a garland. And very beautifully told, straight to the point. Next, fourth Niti Sutra. How do we get Rajyam? Rajya Molam Indriya Jayaha. To get success, to get a job, to be successful, to be prosperous, you need to have the control of senses. Root of gaining kingdom, the power, job, success is the control of senses. What are they? Five basic senses. Touch, sight, hearing, smell and taste. We'll elaborate in another session about this. Next sutra, number five, is Indriya Jayasya Moolam Vinayaha. It's very easy to say. 
control your senses. But it's very difficult or toughest thing on this earth. Right? The root of sense control is humbleness, modesty. Sutra number six. What is Vinaya? How do we get it? Vinaya Syamulam Rudhopasheva. Root of humbleness, modesty is in the service of elders, gurus and seniors. They are bundles of energy, well experienced. They might have done a lot of mistakes, which will teach you as a lessons learned so that you won't commit the mistakes again. You always get the wisdom, the knowledge in the service of by serving elders. This Vinayam, this humbleness is required for the happiness. Okay, we get the Vinayam by doing service to the elders. And what is the real benefit out of it? It is Sutra number 7. Vruddha Sevaya Vijnanam. We get the Vinayam, humbleness, wisdom and knowledge. This is gained in the service of elders, gurus and seniors. Eighth Sutra. We get wisdom. What for that? Vijnana Atmanam Sampadayet. You gain the knowledge. You gained all the good qualities, vinayam, humbleness, and how to use this? You use this for making earnings, make your livelihood, be prosper. So the prosperity, the earnings, the riches will give you the happiness. The first sloka, sukasyamulam dharmaha. Right? That all leads to this. You need to have the earnings, the riches for happiness. Okay, what more you can do with the riches? Sampaditatma, Jitatma, Bhavati. If anyone is having a prosperity, wealth, he is successful. Vice versa, if one is successful, he is rich. Right? So, what do you win with all your success? The wealth. The wealth is the root of happiness. That is directly, indirectly, Chanakya is trying to convey to us. Let us summarize these 10 slokas. Jitatma Sarvardai Samyujyate Chanakya is insisting make everyone successful. He attains all the wealth and riches. If everyone is rich and wealthy, then the nation will be rich, healthy and it will follow the righteous path. And all the people will live with values, morals, ethics and legality. So nice and beautifully said. Continued in section 2. Thanks for watching.